Really imagine what it means when someone says the sky is the limit. Like, look up in the sky and see how far it is and picture yourself being able to go up there even beyond what you see. What does it mean to be an empowered girl? I think that means going after what you want to do. Sometimes we do have the power within, but we have the fear to show it. So for all the girls out there who think that they don't have the power, that's not true. Everyone has been given a talent. Everyone has been given a skill. You just have to find out what it is and you have to cultivate it. When you have knowledge, nobody can take that away from you. You could buy all sorts of things, a car, a house, or anything, and it could disappear. But nobody can take away what you know, what you learn. So knowledge to me and education is just paramount in anything that you want to do. Let your heart lead and your mind keep the road straight. That balance between letting your heart run where it wants to, but then also knowing you can't be completely careless because that could have you know, unhealthy consequences. If I would go back to my younger self, I would say, Diana, own those show and tells. <laughs> Make your friends think that your toy is the coolest toy on the block. Maybe it's not. Right? But practice that skill. It's all about your ability to communicate and influence. You don't necessarily have to be the smartest person in the room to be the most influential. Sometimes it's going to get really hard and some people are going to try and convince you that you're not as good as you are. You need to know in the inside, in your, in your core, that you are as good as you think you are. You're better. If you are passionate about something and it's your gut feeling, follow it and don't ever give up on it. If you believe in yourself, that you can do it, you will do it. Find what you truly enjoy doing and find a way to do that in your career. The constant pursuit of something that you love will make your career a lot more fun as you get older. Network with whether it's your parents, friends in business, or women that you know and admire and learn about what their day-to-day -day is like and then talk to them about it, ask them questions, and try to better understand what it'd be like to work in a specific industry or at a specific company. You speak your truth to everyone around you so they know what you want. Be honest with yourself and with people around you and speak your truth. If you want to do something, let people know. Don't keep it inside because people can't guess. They don't know you and it's really important for you to speak your truth so you feel good about moving forward towards it, but also so that other people know so they can help you because most of the time, people want to help you. Have a great network. People around you, your friends, your family, they should make you better. They should celebrate your wins, they should hug you around your losses, but they should make you better and make them challenge you. Never settle. Don't be afraid to try whatever career it is you're thinking, because a lot of times, just in my communicating with young women, they're, they're told, no, you can't do that, that's not going to be good for you, I don't think you should do it. And it's not necessarily just a man telling you, it could be your sister, your mother, your girlfriend, just because they're looking at you and they think they know you. The only person who know you is you. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to pick the one career that you're going to have for the rest of your life. Most people can and do change careers many times, so while it's important to commit, to, to an idea and to a path, it's also important to stay flexible and know that other opportunities will come your way and you will make changes. Sometimes people think that their dream is this and they try to force it, force it, force it, but sometimes the dream will just kind of happen and you know, you, you'll find yourself doing something that you never expected and this is the thing that you were meant to do. Be resilient, because nine times out of 10, you're gonna get no's before you get yeses, but the people who get the yeses are the ones who keep getting up and keep going after it. Don't be afraid to let people critique your work, because a lot of times it's to make it better. It is a continuous improvement process, and you can't think that just because you solved that problem then that you're done. You really do need to keep learning and, and keep making improvements. If you get some sort of critique, you know, definitely Take it either with a grain of salt or make it your own. You know, no matter at what stage or what level you're at, it's gonna be challenging, but that just means that the rewards are that much better. You really have to have thick skin to, to get criticism, and you're always gonna have it. You're, not everyone is gonna love your work, and some people can be kind of tough, and, um, but, 
but you just got to deal with it. Don't let people dissuade you and say, oh, a girl can't do that, or you can't do that. You're not smart enough. You're not this. You're not that. Just don't listen to them. Just keep on trucking, work hard, do what you need to do, and get reach your goal. When someone is telling you no, you are always thinking, okay, well, I'm just not going to get there from this person. I just need to find someone else or find another way. I think good things come out of generosity. Um, when you're generous with yourself, you're not too critical, you like who you are, you're not you're just easy with yourself. And the same thing for other people. When you're generous with other people, they feel generous with you. You never know who you might work with again. And somebody that you worked with 10 years ago might end up being your boss you know, 10 years from now. And I think it's important to be kind to one another. I think it's important to respect uh, everyone's values and viewpoints. Even if you disagree, that's OK. I want everyone to keep thinking about what they're doing during the day and then what they can be doing 10 years from now because both of them are just as important and both of them are connected. So stay present, say yes, and think big and small. If you are a little shy or afraid or scared to do something, just go do it anyway. For me, it's really never turned out bad. You have to remember that everybody is scared of something or multiple things and that approaching anything that's intimidating is you always grow from that experience. Know who you are at your best and at your worst because if you know who you are at your worst, you can always try to be your best. And I think it's an, an important thing to, to live up to the responsibility of, of who you could be. The best thing that a person could be is to be exactly who they are and know that who you are is awesome. If you can be 10 to 13 years old and have that kind of confidence, then you can you can take over the world.